Good evening, Hope Alliance Church family. Uh, as I'm in my midweek video, which I'm going to call not a midweek video any, anymore. It's going to be called the end of the week video. And this week we're going to talk about interruptions. You know how you get busy in life and then you have these interruptions that kind of stop you and all of that type of stuff. Well, you know, I've come to the conclusion there are really good interruptions and there's really bad interruptions. A good interruption could be that you're, you're doing your day's things and somebody sends you a text or an email and would like to get together with coffee to talk about something spiritual because something's going on in their life and they're looking for some advice that's written in the Bible. That's a good interruption. Another good interruption could be is as you are out and about doing your, your things and you strike up a conversation with somebody who is... Um, who you're in line with, or you're just talking to, and all of a sudden it turns out to be a spiritual conversation, a divine appointment. Don't rush through that. Don't rush through that. So you got to get to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing. Even if you're late for dinner, I bet you if you went home to your, to, to your, to your, to your husband or your wife and you said, sorry I'm late, but I was in the grocery store and I started having a conversation with this person and it turned about Jesus and I was able to tell them why I believe in Jesus and why it's true and, 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 and for them to think about it. I don't think anybody's going to say, oh, I'm mad at you. I can't believe you didn't get home. You know, Jesus had, Jesus had interruptions in, in his ministry. Matter of fact, one that stands right out to me is he's going to Jerusalem to go to the cross. He did an interruption by going the long way to Jerusalem, and he stops off at Jericho. Why? Because he wants to meet up with Zacchaeus. Here's the story in Luke 19. He entered Jericho and was passing through, and there was a man named Zacchaeus who was, at, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he was trying to see who Jesus was, but he was not able to because of the crowd because he was a short man. So running ahead, he climbed under the sycamore tree to see Jesus since he was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry, come down because today is, is necessary for me to stay at your house. So he quickly came down and welcomed him joyfully. All who saw him began to complain. He's going to stay with a sinful man. But Zacchaeus stood there and, and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half my possessions to the poor, to, to the poor Lord. And if I have extorted anyone, anyone, I will pay back four times as much. Today, salvation has come to this house. Good interruption, salvation. Another interruption is when Jesus met the woman at the well. He was just sitting and resting, and they went in to get supplies, and he starts a conversation up that leads to a whole town coming to faith in Jesus. Good interruptions. Now there's bad interruptions. This thing right here is a bad interruption. Why is it when we talk to people, and I'm just as guilty as we're talking to people face to face, we're looking at this thing saying, oh, who called me or who's texting me or who is it? Like the person in this phone on the other side is more important than the person we're talking to. Think about that for a moment. Interruptions right here. And how can that be? You know, how would you like it if, you, if, 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 you were, if, if, if we had interruptions? Think of, oh, Hold on for a moment. Someone's here. Hello? I'm doing my video. I'm doing my, my midweek, end of the week video. Excuse me. Yeah, I understand. I understand. But I, I put them on hold. This is an interruption. Oh, it can wait till later? No problem. Can I call you back when I'm done with my video? Sure. Thanks. Bye. Now, how did that make you feel? I can't believe someone called me in the middle of my video. I better turn my, I better turn my sound thing down. You know, but think about that for a moment. It could have waited. And here I'm having a conversation with you and we were interrupted. Imagine now for a moment that we take this thing with us as we spend time with the Lord because having a relationship with the Lord, having, ha having faith as a relationship with the Lord, and as we're in the middle of a story and God is showing us something or in the middle of prayer, this thing goes off and we text back. We just put the God of the universe on hold. Can you imagine that for a moment, that we put the God of the universe on hold because the person on the other end of this is more important than him? When you spend time with the Lord, make it un uninterrupted time. Put this away. Let people know that don't interrupt me because I'm having my relationship with the Lord. But you know, the other thing is sometimes I think we fill our lives up with a lot of interruptions. And we go to these things that we think they're going to give us joy or, or lasting joy or everlasting joy, and they don't. And all of these interruptions in our life take time away from this. Or maybe we have no time. Those are bad interruptions. Bad interruptions. So as you start to think about life and, and how you go through life and the interruptions that come, good ones, bad ones. The bad ones we can control. The good ones we can't and they're not divine appointments. And may God give us wisdom to know which, is, which ones we should, we should be doing. 
But you know what? When I'm talking with somebody, the person on the other end of this isn't as important as the one who I'm talking with in, in person. So I, I, hope you, I hope you understand all of this. I hope, I hope it, it, it makes sense to you. And so let me pray for you as I always do. Father, may we have great divine appointments, good interruptions in our lives. May these interruptions have spiritual conversations where we edify and build up and encourage and help somebody through it. Or maybe even share our faith story where people can hear about it. The bad interruptions, though, Lord, is when we go to spend time with you and our phone dings us and we spend time looking through that and then we go someplace else and we go someplace else and we leave the God of the universe who sent his son to die on the cross for us just hanging. Forgive us when we do that. Forgive me when I do that. Lord, I pray that, that we won't be interrupted with our un, undivided time with the Lord of the universe, Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that, that as, as we have these conversations and we pray for divine appointments, the good interruptions, that they would happen more often and we would be ready to give a reason for why we believe and why it's the joy that we have in our life is our faith in Jesus Christ. So I thank you for each person listening and, 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 and watching this. And I pray, Lord, that you would anoint them and find favor. And may they grow deep roots in their faith. And may they glorify you in all things that they do. We pray this in Jesus' name. Have a good night and may God bless you.